there's Tennyson's Crossing the Bar. The Charles. Sunset, evening star, and one clear call for me. May there be no morning of the bar if I put out to sea. Such a tide as moving seems asleep, too full for sound and calm. But when grew from out of the boundless deep, turns again home. Twilight, evening bell, and that, after that, the dark. May there be no sadness of farewell. For though from out are born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hope to see my pilot's face, face to face, when I have crossed the bar. Charlton and I have been waiting for the before. It's called Nevermore Sailor. Nevermore Sailor shalt thou be tossed on the wind ridden restless sea. Its tides may labor, or the world shake beneath that weight, waters curl. But its whole shock can only stir thy dust to a quiet, even quiet. Thou mockest at land, who now art come to such a small and shallow mind. Yet o'er the sea, so many a care for bones that once a sailor's were. And though the graves deep soundless, they once see deafened ear distress, the robin ever on the deep hopped with this his song to haunt thy sleep. A little poetry of our we'll put that together. This is my godfather, uh, Bill. The sail was with Edmundo uh, and, and myself on July 5th. And we came out in 32 knots of wind, and it was a spirited sail. And we crashed around, just, we, we came out around a white rock up to the dumplings. Saw six to seven foot waves outside the dumplings and decided that it was. Emerson was the only guy who could get the score it. from him. <laughs> Marched him out on stage. I did this whole routine oh, about great. giving him his steak, but the only one who could cry that score out of his hand was Emerson. Yeah, yeah, sure. let's do your time, let's do your best. You don't need this. That was a beautiful idea. And gift, we the gift of the baton. So, Historic. Yeah, the, the baton. Um, one day I came down to sail. This is probably right after he bought Dolce. And uh, I saw his thingy tied up behind his boat, and, and I went out as soon as it was a windy day, and I went out and I expected to see him out here, but when I got back in, his dinghy was still behind his boat, and the sail covers were still on. So I rowed over, and there was Charles down below writing music, mm -hmm. yeah. and he'd been there all day, and he had um, this smile on his face that you could tell from Charles, he was totally relaxed. And he, he just told me that he loved coming down and writing his music on the day. Well, you remember when, when, the, governor, when yeah. the governor spoke at his memorial service, that wonderful, impromptu talk that, beautiful? that he did at the memorial service. He said, you know, when I'd be at his house, you know, that, that crazy, crazy house, house <laughs> the house always had 15 people in it. And uh, so this is where he would And that was at night. <laughs> and, and yeah. quiet this is where he'd come to be alone. Yeah. This was his yeah. sanctum sanctorum. Was Dolce. But he no, had, I, I had that picture. I, I don't know if you've seen it. I have seen the picture of him. And he loved to, he always had music with him. Well, it was a and, music desk. And it was, a, it was a place where he could be undisturbed. Uh, as I said at the service, I love the fact that, that for the guy who could put on the, the, the best of the tuxes and, and dine with kings, he really liked that kind of thing. Charles, uh, Charles, sit, sit over here with a question. Charles loved the Concordias. He made good friends because of them. Yes. Uh, and he shared it generously with uh, fools like me who couldn't get enough. So, uh, uh, an appropriate place to remember Charles. And, and the most perfect day of uh, the fall of 2010, where we say together, Bon voyage. God bless bon you, voyage, Charles. God bless you. Bless. Friend and mentor and leader and sailor. Dust we come and dust we return. For sailor, the rest in the deep.
bless you, Charles. Well done. Well done. Well done. A good farewell. Never under 25 feet, West. Well, that would be important for you to know the next time you want to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there was, there was... We'll probably be leaving here, I would say, around 3.30. So you're going to keep working for a few more years? And, and, uh, yeah. Well, I, I'm, back, I'm, I'm an expert witness. I hope so. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what you do as the expert witness. So that's the scoop. So, so, and uh, other all set for tomorrow for Michael's work, and we're revolving around mostly our litigation.